So we've got a, a price list here for entering into the cathedral. General entrance is uh, eight euros. If you're retired, that says ancient arms, it's only seven fifty. And then there are some extras you can pay to, to go and see as well. So we'll just go and have a look in So we managed to come into the cathedral and because we're retired we just paid the seven euros fifty. But it does look just to just on this little bit of entry that we've got here, it looks really quite spectacular. Windows. They're really detailed, aren't they? Really detailed windows. Actually, having said that, there's some plain glass ones there. That one in the distance is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful wooden carvings here.
It's like a Goya, isn't it? Really gruesome. He's had his head chopped off and it's in the spotlight now. Really. There is some uh, work going on, so that's what the buzzing noise is in the background. It's the beheading of St. Paul. That's what that is. Beheading St. Paul. to see that they're actually taking care of the wonderful artefacts that they have here. So often, in all the places we've been to, they've just been neglected. Okay, no. So uh, on the tour groups there, been having their guided tours that we saw a few moments ago. We're actually inside the cathedral now. Uh, so the big gates there, we've just, uh, just walked outside so we can have a look at the facade. But we're obviously very, very close to it, so it's difficult to get it all in in the video. But quite a magnificent building. Interestingly, this one is the chapel of San Sebastian. San Sebastian being the patron saint of Palma. During the Easter, which is coming up only in the next month or so, um, there'll be processions all around uh, cities in Spain and um, no doubt here in Malaga too. And uh, this is one of the things that they actually pick up and walk around through the streets of the city. It looks to me as though that's what they've got it ready for. It's right in front of the door, there's a ramp there, and they'll you know, get about, I don't know, 20 people underneath that. It'll be incredibly heavy, and they'll pick it up, and they will march it through the streets. So I think some of the sculptures here are really quite magnificent. This is the Archbishop of uh, Lima, and uh, he's laying hands in order to heal one of the sick. And this is the Archbishop of Valencia, and he's uh, giving out some money, helping out a beggar.
So what date does this come from? The cathedral. I think it's 16th century. And these must be the working tools of the craftsmen. I hope you've enjoyed the tour we've just done of the cathedral and I'm just uh, finishing the video just by looking outside and uh, I noticed that there is this crack and all the way down that's something they need to address really an interesting building we always enjoy a walk around the cathedral um, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but it's certainly something that I enjoy and I love to look at the the different architecture. Also on this side, or just while I'm looking, just come to the side, there's another door here, and uh, some of the stonework there is really well weathered, and, uh, well, it's not going to survive much longer. It's, uh, it needs a bit of restoration or, or something to help preserve what's there. <laughs>